In 2019, I introduced you to TubeBuddy, which is my absolutely favorite tool for growing my YouTube channel. And you loved the tutorial, you enjoyed it. So many of you commented and said that this was amazing. TubeBuddy has come out with a new feature that I want to showcase to you today. And I absolutely love it because it falls in line with my planner nerd personality because I love planning and it goes really well with my video content plan as well. So I'm gonna show you how to use it to better plan your videos and to better keyword research your videos. So are you ready? Hey go getter, it's Salma Jaffrey from salmajaffrey.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. If you want to show me some love because you enjoy my content, then please hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. Now, the number one thing that I heard about TubeBuddy in terms of your concerns in the last video was that is TubeBuddy safe? The app is asking to access my YouTube channel and it can do all of these things. And I just want to reassure you that yes, it is absolutely safe. It is a bona fide, legit company. I personally know the people who work there and also it is YouTube certified. So they uh, work with YouTube, they're certified by YouTube and they've been in business for a long time. They have a lot of customers, a lot of people use the app and also the functionality that they're asking to be able to have access to for your YouTube channel is in line with what the app needs to be able to provide you the analytical data to work and to be able to give you the information on your channel. So it is okay to use, it is safe to use, you can go ahead and use it. And also I have a 20% discount code for you if you use uh, the link that I'm gonna put in the description. If you go and click that link, you'll get a further 20% discount on TubeBuddy. So with that out of the way, let's get started. I wanna open up my computer and I wanna show you their newest feature called SEO Studio. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my YouTube channel and then click this TubeBuddy icon right here. And from here, I can see all of the stuff that they have. And so you're gonna find SEO Studio right here in the right-hand corner, in the right-hand bar rather. I'm gonna click the SEO Studio and it says, build a perfect searchable title, description and tags for your video and enter your target keyword. So here's why I love this tool because it goes so well with my video content plan. Now my video content plan, I'm gonna also put a link to that in the description. It's a Google spreadsheet that I use to plan out my videos typically in 90 day chunks. So three months in advance, I'll plan out all my videos, topics, I'll do all the keyword research, plan out, okay, exactly how I'm gonna be ranking those videos, what is the call to action, a lot of things go into that plan. So if you wanna grab that, it's samajafi.com forward slash VCP and the link is in the description. Now, coming back to TubeBuddy's SEO Studio, I see a lot of similarities in that they've tried to incorporate a lot of the features that I place in the video content plan directly into TubeBuddy. And the advantage of doing this is that successful YouTube creators know exactly what keyword they want to rank for before they actually make the video. And I'll tell you why that's so important. It's important because you wanna actually say the keyword in your actual video. So YouTube's looking at your title, your tags, your description, but it's also looking at what you're actually saying. And so if your video is not actually about what you saying that it's about, then it's not gonna match up. But if you are also saying the keyword in your video, and also putting it in the metadata, then it gives YouTube all that information about how to contextualize your video. So it's really important to plan your videos in order to rank your videos. Now coming back to the SEO studio. So we're gonna start off with a keyword term. I'm gonna try YouTube niches as my keyword term. And when I say start, Okay, so what it's gonna do in step one, so you can see that there are four steps here. And what the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a score. Um, so it's giving me a 62% SEO score. So all I've done right now is just put the keyword in and that's it. Now it's gonna tell me how I can improve my score. So these are the ways. So the check marks are things I've already done, which is included in the title, um, in, the, in the title, include 80% in um, the title and included in the first 60 characters of the title. Okay, now I want to include the target keyword naturally in the title. Right now it just says YouTube niches, so I'm going to write um, best YouTube niches in 2020, so it's natural sentence, so that is done. And it's going to recalibrate and now I'm up to 86%. The last thing it's going to ask me to do is include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So you don't want to keyword stuff your description. You want to include the keyword, but also in natural sentences. So I might say something like, um, discover the best YouTube niches 
to rank for in 2020. And of course, I'll add more detail to the description, but that is going to help just to get this ranking up. Uh, and it's not going up. So what it wants me to do is put another um, match. So I wanna use part of that keyword and include it in another sentence. Um, niches are important to be able to focus your content. And so now it's giving me a check mark. So I used a partial phrase. So instead of the whole phrase YouTube niches, I use just niches. I'm gonna correct the caps of that. Okay, so now I'm up to 95% and I can move on to the next section. Now, obviously this is not all that's gonna go in the description. There is a lot more that goes into my descriptions. I have a video on how I write my tags and descriptions, which I'll link to right up here. So you can see how I do that. But for the purposes of this demonstration, let's go on to next. So next is tags. And it's already giving me some suggested tags, but it's saying consider adding them only if relevant. Now, this is really important. You wanna make sure that you only add what's relevant to the video. So you wanna know what your video is gonna be about and only add that stuff in. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add YouTube niches, YouTube niches that make money, um, YouTube niches with high CPM, if I'm gonna be talking about cost per 1000 views, which is CPM, um, YouTube niches 2020, profitable ones that make money, then um, one with a spelling mistake in it, couple with spelling mistakes. I'm actually not gonna choose most profitable YouTube niches 2019 because this video is about 2020 if I were to be making this video. So I'm not gonna choose this, it's not relevant, right? So all of that goes in there and then I'm gonna click next. I'm already up to 100% as you can see here. And the next step is to make your thumbnail. So it's gonna show you all the other videos that are ranking for this particular keyword. So this is really um, interesting to see because what's happening here is that you can sort of craft your thumbnail strategy based on what your competitors are doing or rather what they're not doing. So you're gonna look at like me, for example, I'm gonna show up as your competitor in this. Um, and then there's video influencers, there's me again, there's Vanessa Lau, there's other people here. Um, so you're gonna see what thumbnails everyone else has used for this particular and you're gonna find a way that you can maintain some of the same style, but also be different. So um, as you can see, I'm the only purple thumbnail in this whole thing. There are lots of red, black, and whites. Um, there's this yellow one that stands out a little bit. Um, and then there's um, just a lot of red, black, and white. So if you wanna stand out, colors could be one way of doing that. Um, so you wanna make sure your thumbnail is different. So uh, TubeBuddy tells you to use bright colors, high contrast, close up of a human face, and ensure that the text is large enough to read on uh, small devices and use fonts, colors, and shapes that are consistent with your branding. I also have a custom thumbnail tutorial. It's very in-depth on how to make custom thumbnails. I'll link to that right up here in the info card so you can go and check that out on how to make great looking thumbnails. Okay, I'm gonna take one second to stop right there and ask you a question. And I want to know what is your favorite TubeBuddy feature? Tell me in the comments below and perhaps I'll help you get the most out of that feature. So let me know. Let's move on to the next step, which is apply to video. So if you already have a video open, you can apply to that video, all of these things. But I like to do save as draft because I'm still in the planning stages of my video right now. So I want to do this exercise and have all my titles, tags, and descriptions written out so that when I'm actually uploading the video, I can just do a one button click, say apply to video, and then everything is going to be filled in. So at the time that I'm actually uh, publishing the video or making the video live, I don't have to do this whole process at that particular time. And it's really, really important not to think of your keyword phrase and your title after you have made the video. I cannot stress this enough, people. You really, really wanna make sure that you are getting that keyword strategy down. You are you already know what the video is gonna be about. You already have an idea of you know what's gonna be the tags and the descriptions and the thumbnails and all of that. And if you want more in-depth and you wanna go beyond the SEO studio, I love SEO Studio, but if you wanna go even beyond that, then grab my video content plan because it has a lot more columns to fill out to get that planning done so that your video is really just well strategized and intentional and you've covered all your bases with how you want your video to perform. And you can grab that from the link in the description and I will see you in the next video. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.